cars from the cell phone years, years old and they were never had anything going to go wrong for their kids. Kids. But, but the how many cycles, I like the other bars so that are on the side of the whole different ritual I love years old still on the road you don't see many of them Nadine is what her name is and I named her because she's got a soul and I I know she's got a soul uh, just the the ritual you have to go through to start her up retard the advance, the three kicks before the the key is on, the choke, just the whole different ritual that you go through and then when you start it up, she just runs. Besides, anything that pretty has got to be a woman. It cannot be a man. I had been at this swap meet up in Pennsylvania. When I walked up, I saw this, and I was just like, oh my God, this is the bike. This is it. I said, I gotta go home and you know, get my truck and come back. And I said, I'll be back in three hours. It took me about four and a half hours, and by the time I got there, he was really pissed off at me. You could see he was visually mad at me. I walked up and he goes, I could have sold this bike to these three guys right here, but I waited for you. And then the next day I called the guy to thank him for waiting for me. And he had calmed down by then. He told me they were offering him more money than I was paying for the bike. And I said, well, why didn't you sell it to him? He told me because they're dealers. They would buy the bike and sell it to make more money. He goes, but when you walked up, I could tell you liked it. You had passion for it. The Knucklehead is a Harley-Davidson motor that they designed and it went into production in 1936. Mine is a 47, the last year of Knucklehead. Form and function are so perfectly balanced. It rides nice, it's got power, and it's just beautiful no matter what angle you look at it from. The shape of the teardrop tank, the tank badges, just the shape of the motor. The, the heads of the motor, which makes it a knucklehead, just everything about it, you can tell so much thought and design from the 40s went into it. And this bike, back in 1947, was the fastest motorcycle that they made at the time. Stock motorcycle. This was like the super bike. The knucklehead was the shit back in the day. I get some really good ideas when I'm riding. It frees my mind up. I just stop thinking about work and worries and things like that. It's the closest thing to being a bird almost. You feel like you're almost flying. first motorcycle when I was 17 years old and my parents told me if I ever bought a motorcycle that I would be kicked out of the house. I saved my money, I bought it used, I brought it home, pulled it around to the backyard and my mother and father came out and said what are you on? They just walked inside and then when I went inside they were up in the kitchen sitting around the table and I'm like oh my god I'm in trouble now. So I walked up and I said, don't worry about it. I know what the rule was, I have to move out. So I already found a place to stay. And my mother said, you don't have to move. You can stay here, really. And I said, good, because I didn't find a place yet.
the bike always runs better at nighttime. Bike always runs better on the way home. On the way up, you know, running good, you're feeling good. Then you stop at the local pub or a pub up in Pennsylvania and you have a beer or two and then you leave and say, damn, this bike, it's amazing. It runs so much better than it did an hour and a half ago. <laughs> it should be a law that, especially beginning riders, people that are just starting to ride motorcycles, they should have to have one beer or two just to relax them so they're not all uptight and herky-jerky. I've been riding with people that just got motorcycles and are pretty new riders, and it's like, they're all nervous and they're stiff, and it's like, have a couple of beers and relax. But they tell you, don't do that because you're not supposed to drink and drive. But I'm telling you, if I were king, it'd be a rule. You'd have to, you would have to have a beer or two before you could ride with me. I was coming home one night, and I'm just cruising along, just having a good old time. And I know I hit some gravel. I went right up to somebody's front yard. It was muddy, so the grass was soft. No helmet on, didn't hit my head. But me and my bike are sliding and spinning right up to the house. I stopped. And then all of a sudden, the light's in the house because I'm this motorcycle's running under this guy's bedroom window. <laughs> Then all of a sudden the outside spotlights come on and I'm trying to get out of there. You know, I'm spinning across his, his lawn. I put marks in his lawn just from sliding in. He could see that and then I just went down the road. and that road ahead of you, that's it. That's all that's important right now. It's functional and it's beautiful. Just like a lot of old cars, a lot of trains, the airplanes, just, they're mechanical too. Mechanical and beautiful. And maybe, maybe I'm partial because I think mechanical is beautiful, but when you can see how something works, that's what's cool. That's neat. Not where everything's hidden and covered up. And especially on these old bikes, you see how everything works. I know this guy that hit a fucking cow one night in the middle of the road coming home. Cruising home on his back road, running about 40 miles an hour, and it was kind of foggy that night. He had his wife on the back, and the cow's in the middle of the road. He goes to go around it, the cow moves, boom! He hits the cow in the head with his right handlebar. Didn't even knock the cow over, but knocked its head sideways. And he just kept on going and he just pulled up to the front of his house and told, slowed up and got on the lawn and told his wife to jump off the back of the bike. <laughs> and she did and then he jumped off the bike and then they went and got the car and she took him to the hospital but crushed all his fingers and his knuckles. Hit a cow on the goddamn head but the dude kept it up man. That's, that's good when he can keep it up. When you hit a cow in the head, I never hit a cow. I don't want to hit a cow. I know a guy that hit a cow in a car. I was in the middle of the road. It was all foggy again. He hits the cow. His window was open. Well, hit the cow. Of course, killed it. But the cow shit. When he hit it, and all the shit came back in his face. <laughs> 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 
flew all over the whole inside of the car. I should be laughing. The cow lost his life. His whole suit, he was a suit guy, all covered in shit. <laughs> That's a story to tell the grandchildren. <laughs>